Oh, so on this SEC fining the church $5 million, which the church agreed that it was guilty and so paid the fine because you don't mess with the federal government. You'd think the church would have figured that out from Wilford Woodruff's example of trying to hide polygamy and all that noise. But the church never seems to learn. The shocking implication of the church being deceptive, deliberately planning and crafting the deception and the lies which breaks the law of the federal government, which the church claims we believe in honoring, sustaining, and obeying the law, so it's being hypocritical. Understand in this document, and this is so important, when it says the church at the front of the document, it defined the leaders of the church, the brethren of the church, the leadership of the church as the first presidency. This is everyone is answerable to Russell M. Nelson. This is the man that continued breaking the law from Monson's reign and Monson had been breaking the law from Hinckley's range. They kept making illegal and dummy companies uh, to hide the money away from the American public and the church. See, they don't even trust the church. You members, you're just cattle. You don't even get it. You're just cattle. Anyway, to my point in this video, the ironic thing is you and I, any Mormon who would ask for a temple recommend would be asked, are you honest in all your dealings with your fellow men? If you were to confess, well, no, I have deliberately set it up so that I have deceived the government and broken the law, and I've lied to all of the church leaders about my activities, because that is what the First Presidency has done by keeping the apostles in the dark and all of the 70s, the stake presidents, the bishops, and all the membership. You and I would not get a temple recommend President Nelson, President Eyring, and President Dallin Oaks are not temple worthy. They cannot go to the temple. Here's the deepest irony of all. The myth, the image the church wants the members to believe is that we have concourse with Jesus in the temple. Jesus isn't in their temple. Jesus doesn't talk to them. They lie, they deceive, this is document, this is an anti-Mormonism. The church itself described in processed detail how they broke the law in order to deceive everyone. That's in the document. This is what led to them being fined. This is not just a one-sided approach. The church had to sit down and tell and help the SEC word this document and it came out that the first presidency continued saying no do not disclose the money and the reason why is they were terrified that the people would quit paying their tithing their interest and their holdings and their investments are double what all of the tithes and fast offerings of the church add up to they do not need your money. If every member of the church right now stopped paying tithing and kept the money for themselves, the church would still make billions of dollars. Folks, it is time to wake up.